Hello everyone, this is YouTube Buddy. In this video, we are going to discuss about for in loop. First, we need to understand a basic and very interesting concept of object. There are always two different entity which is associated with a single object. The first one is property or key and the second one is the value. As for example, if I write let x is equal to 10, we have created an object. For this object, x is the parameter or key and 10 is the value. The same scenario happens with every object. It may be a variable, it may be an array, it may be a collection of objects or whatever. There are always two different entities, parameter or key and value. In our screen, we have two arrays, array 1 and array 2. For this object, the parameter is array 1 and the value of that parameter is this. And for this object, parameter is array 2 and value is this. Now if we take a look inside the array 1 elements, we will see we have 5 elements in array 1 and each and every element is having a particular index which is associated with it. Index for the value 1 is 0, index for the value 2 is 1 and similarly index for the value 5 is 4. So here index is the key or parameter for this value. The same thing happens for array 2 as well. Each and every element of array 2 is having a particular index associated with it. So for array index is the key or parameter and each key or parameter is having a value. In our real time application there are several scenarios when we need to get the value of a key or a parameter and to get the key or parameter with respect to a value. So I think the concept of key and value is completely clear. Now we are going to discuss about for in loop. The most important thing to understand the for in loop is the for in loop always traverses over the key or parameter of an object, not the value. This is the syntax of for in loop. We need to start our loop with for and after that a pair of parentheses and a pair of calibrases. Inside the parenthesis, we will have key in collection of objects. So key here is a variable and this is the collection of objects. It may be an array or something else. And inside the curly braces, we need to put the codes to execute. Now we will write a for in loop for array 1. We have written a for in loop which says for let key in array 1 and we are printing the key in the console. So as we have already discussed for array key is actually the index. So if we execute our code we will get the index printed in our integrated terminal one by one. So that will be 0 1 2 3 4. You can see after execution we got 0 1 2 3 4 printed in the integrated terminal. Instead of key we can write index. If we write the same for in loop for array 2, we should get the index printed in the integrated terminal, which are the same 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. You can see we got 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 printed once again. As we have index available for each and every element of our array, we can get the element value which is associated with this particular index. How to do that? We have already discussed in our previous videos. We need to put array 2 and after that within square bracket we need to put index and now this should print A E I O U. We will save and execute our code. See we got A E I O U printed in the integrated terminal. This is the overall concept of for in loop. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next one.
Until then, bye-bye. Take care.